morning. It is filled to the brim and it is Thursday, July 16th. And the Lord is speaking to my heart saying, do not bypass your battles. Do not bypass the battle. Sometimes we want to get out of the battles. We try to pray them away. We ask God, get, let this cup be passed from me. I don't want to face it. I'm afraid to face it. We do everything possible. We play dodgeball with our battles rather than facing the battle. And the Lord wants us to face the battles because when we do so, he builds confidence in us. He builds spiritual muscle in us. Let me read to you a scripture. It's actually written by the Apostle Paul. It's his last letter before he dies. And it's 2 Timothy 1.12. It says this, This is why I suffer as I do. Still I am not ashamed, for I know him who I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to guard that which I have entrusted to him until that day when I stand before him. I know whom I have believed in, and I am persuaded. Why can Paul the Apostle say in his last letter that he knows the one whom he's believed and he is persuaded? No matter what, I am persuaded. I have experienced Jesus. I know him intimately. I have experienced Jesus. And it also shows that he has faced battles. This is why I suffer as I do. I have faced the battles that it has taken for me to accomplish that which Jesus has called me to do. Paul was the apostle to the Gentiles. He brought the gospel to the unreached areas, to the new regions, and he faced many battles. So he can say in his last letter, I know him. I know that he can do it. He has been my battle partner and he has brought me success. I know him intimately in my knowledge and I know him intimately in my experience. You know, it's important for us to face the battles because when we face the battles, it builds confidence in us and it causes us not to be ashamed of the battles. We are not to bypass them. You know, the enemy wants to intimidate you to bypass your battle. He wants you to shrink back. He wants you to be fearful. But when you face the battle, the confidence in him grows and he brings his glory. Why should we face battles? Because that's how God brings his glory in our lives. He shows forth his presence supernaturally. He shows forth his presence to do what no man can do for us. He wants us to increase our spiritual muscle by facing the battle so that he can show show us who he is, not just in knowledge like we read in scripture, but also in experience. We want to experience him because when we experience him in victory, we know it doesn't matter what man says. It doesn't matter what the philosophies of the world says. It doesn't matter what science says. It We know without a shadow of a doubt because we have experienced him in our battles. A great example of this is David in the Old Testament. You know, David faces Goliath. He is the young man willing to face Goliath. And you know what's the foundation for him to face this giant? It was because he had faced battles in his past. Actually, it says in 1 Samuel 17, 37, this is David responding to King Saul about going and facing Goliath. David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. In other words, I face the battles. I know who I have believed and I am persuaded he is able for this next battle because I face the battle with the lion. I have faced the battle with the bear. God has brought me victory. I know my battle partner and I know that he is able. I have confidence in him because of my knowledge and my experience in him. Had he not faced those battles, had he not 
confronted the lion and the bear. He would have been shivering over in the corner with the rest of the Israeli army as well as with King Saul. But because he had faced those battles in the past, he was able to have faith in God to face the battle with Goliath. That's why it's so important for us to face the battles. Because it builds confidence in us. Don't pray it away. Don't pray it away. Have God partner with you in this battle. He wants to teach you about himself. He wants you to be able to say to your Goliath, to your giant in your land, the same thing that David said to his giant. 1 Samuel 17, 45 and 46. This is what David says to Goliath. You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. This day the Lord will hand you over to me, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. See, when we have faced our battles in the past, it gives us confidence to face our enemy, to look him in the eye, to not be intimidated by the enemy, because we intimately know the one who is with us in that battle. Don't be fearful of your battle. Don't let fear be the persuader in your life. Don't let the enemy cause you to have fear to shrink back from the battle. Those things should not persuade you. Fear should not persuade you. The enemy should not persuade you. You know what should, should persuade you? Your faith in Jesus. I know who I have believed. And I am persuaded that in this battle too, he is able. In this upcoming battle, in the battle I face right now in July, to, July 220, it, he is able to bring victory to me in this battle. This is what the Lord is saying. What battle are you facing? Are you trying to bypass it? Are you going to the negotiation table with the enemy because you're intimidated? You're fearful? You're uncertain about the Lord helping you in this battle? Are you being persuaded by fear? Are you being persuaded by the enemy? Are you, be, are you being persuaded by your faith in him? I know that he is able to bring me victory in this battle. It's a new battle. I've never faced it before. But because I've experienced him in my past and because of my intimate knowledge of my Jesus right now, today, I know that he is able. Face your battles. Don't be afraid. You become a threat to the enemy when you are able to face your battles. You are a threat to him. I love you. God bless you. Pray about this word.